Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the new MT Mini and full-sized VTXs by AGRC. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over their features and specs, measure their output strength, and then head outdoors and test them out. In terms of packaging, with both VTXs you are getting some stickers and the user manual. The Mini VTX comes with a linear antenna with a UFL connector, a 4 pins connector, and a UFL to SMA antenna connector. The full-sized VTX comes with a linear antenna with an AMCX connector, a 90 degrees AMCX to an SMA antenna connector, and a 6 pins connector. In terms of specs, both VTXs support 48 channels and feature IRC trump protocol and an onboard microphone. The full-sized version is using 30 by 30 mm M3 mounting holes. It features an AMCX antenna connector. Its DC input voltage is between 6 to 26 volts, and it has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, 400, and 800 milliwatts. The mini version is using 20 by 20 mm M2 mounting holes. It's using a UFL antenna connector. Its DC input voltage is restricted to 5 volts, and it has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, 400, and 600 milliwatts. So basically, as you can see, both VTXs share the same transmission model, and the main differences between the two are the mounting pattern, the antenna connector, and that the full-sized version features a voltage regulator and an LC filter. Due to that reason, and also as you are about to see in the upcoming output strength test, I think that the 800 mV value on the full-sized version is actually a mistake, and it's supposed to be 600 mV, just like the mini-sized version. In addition, the weight of the full-sized VTX is 6.5 grams, and the mini version weighs 4 grams. The outer dimensions of the full-sized VTX are 37.1 by 36.2 and 25.2 by 5.5 mm, and the outer dimensions of the mini version are 25.3 by 28.7 by 5.3 mm including the connector, and 2.5 mm without it. Setting up the frequency and the output strength of both VTXs is done either by using this configuration button or using IRC trump protocol. Connecting both versions to the flight controller is done either by using these connectors and the provided harnesses, or you can solder the wires directly to the pads which are located on the bottom of each VTX. So in addition to this connector on the mini version, you can power up the VTX directly using the plus 5V pad, and make sure to use strictly plus 5 volts because otherwise you might burn the VTX. Next to this pad you can find the ground pad, over here the video in pad, and over here the RX pad which you should connect to a free TX port on the flight controller, and under the port stub on Betaflight, configure it to use IRC trump protocol. Similarly, on the full-sized version, you can find over here the battery and ground pads, and again, the input voltage is between 6 to 26 volts, since it features a built-in voltage regulator. Next to the ground pad, you can find the RX pad. Over here, a plus 5 volts output pad, if you'd like to power up an external camera. Next to it, the ground pad, and over here, the video in pad. As I mentioned before, both VTXs feature an onboard microphone, but in case you would like to override it and use an external one, you can simply desolder this joint over here and connect an external microphone to the audio in pad which is located over here. Now starting with the full-sized version, I'm going to measure the output strength of both VTXs. When the VTX is set to 25 mW, I'm getting about 31 mW. After one minute, I'm getting about 30 mW. And the temperature of the VTX is about 36 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 100 mW, I'm getting about 100 mW. After 1 minute, it's down to about 90 mW. And the temperature of the VTX is about 44 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 200 mW, I'm getting about 200 mW. After 1 minute, I'm getting about 180 mW. And its temperature is about 42 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 400 mW, I'm getting around 350 mW. After 1 minute it's down to around 320 mW, and the temperature of the VTX is about 48 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 800 mV, I'm getting around 630 mV. After 1 minute I'm getting around 540 mV, and the temperature of the VTX is about 62 degrees Celsius. Now let's measure the output strength of the mini version. 
When the VTX is set to 25 mV, I'm getting around 32 mV. After one minute, the output strength is still about 32 mV, and the temperature of the VTX at its hottest point is 58 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 100 mV, I'm getting about 105 mV. After one minute, I'm getting about 97 mV, and the temperature of the VTX is about 64 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 200 mV, I'm getting about 215 mV. After one minute, I'm getting about 195 mV, and the temperature of the VTX is about 70 degrees Celsius. When the VTX is set to 400 mV, I'm getting about 370 mV. After one minute, it's down to about 350 mV, and the temperature of the VTX is 77.55 degrees Celsius. When it's set to 600 mV, I'm getting about 760 mV. After one minute, it's down to about 560 mV, and the temperature of the VTX is about 91 degrees Celsius. So according to my test, first of all, both VTXs are pretty powerful. Second of all, make sure that the mini version gets enough ventilation since it gets hotter much quicker than the full size version. And finally, as I mentioned before, 800 mV should be probably stated as 600 mV, which makes sense since both VTXs are using the same transmission model. So overall, I think that both VTXs are pretty good options if you're in the market for a full-sized or a 20 by 20 mm VTX. And I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, which hopefully is going to help you to make your mind whether you want to get them or not. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.